With the cliche goes, the moment you've been waiting for is now here. Becky is here to bring us that exclusive interview with rapper Sarkodie. You know, I'm Becky. actually, I've been dreaming about this day. <laughs> you know, it's a very special day today. I see. Um, the whole Ghana is watching. I know. I know. Everyone is glued. They because want to hear this, from this is, this is an exclusive interview mm. with uh, rapper Sarkodie, award-winning rapper. Mm -hmm. He's actually... Mm -hmm. Multiple uh, award multiple award-winning. Award he's he's a BT award-winning uh, uh, musician. Mm -hmm. he, he is also hoping to win the Grammys very soon. But is he well. the landlord? I guess that's really what a lot of people well, want to hear. Well, well, according to Sarkodie, well, he's had a lot of people in the industry, some industry players, mm -hmm. name him as landlord, and he he doesn't have any choice. He was, he spoke about that in this interview. So this is the interview you guys have been waiting for. Please, please be my guest. Fantastic performance. I haven't seen you the whole of this year. And of course, I I, I think it's a, it's a cliche to even say that, oh, you did well, so good. I mean, I mean, how was your performance? I know this whole Christmas I've been sick since Rapaholic. Um, yeah, but it was, it, was, it was an epic night. I knew it was going to be like this. Um, big shout out to my brothers Chance and Vic Mensa. It just started as a normal conversation. I remember when we were shooting our video, Vibration, we were driving in town and then Vic was talking about how about we doing something here. It was just a conversation. So when he said it, I'm like, listen, I have to be a part of it. And this is epic. Yeah. You've been doing this for like a very long time and you've been consistent with uh, this music business. I, I just, you know, want, want to know the energy you're taking uh, into this year. Um, yes, I think, as you said, that the performance and do music box is already ticked. I think there's more to um, you if you're being given given um, this much attention. You can only give back what actually made you. I've been saying this for a while, but I've been working on um, other stuff aside music. So the energy is going to be more of giving back to this industry that made me um, suck on it. Yeah. How was your 2022 brag about? I know that uh, 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 rappers all they do is brag. You know, uh, tell me about your 2022 and, and expectations for that. You already have things that you're doing this year. At least we are alive, um, so I'm blessed. It wasn't a bad year. Uh, there wasn't no, um, not too much bad news. I, I released the project. Um, yeah, I think it was, it was just a decent, good year. Yeah. And we're going to repeat all that this year, uh, you know, Rapaholic. Are we going to have an album? Yeah, so uh, Jam Jams just came out last year, and I'm still promoting Jams. You know, we haven't dropped um, Countryside Video featuring um, uh, Blacko, and then one of my best songs I, I love on the project as well, it's called She Bad featuring Oxley, I haven't dropped that video as well. So I'm going to focus on Jams, but I'm outside, we are taking the project out, we're doing a tour, okay. and we're about to announce it, I think ending of this month, we're going to announce the, the, the places that we are going. So it's more being outside, and also we have... Um, uh, we have we have something epic to start the year. I can't speak about it. I'm sorry, but um, you guys can follow me, and I'm gonna update you guys. Yes. What has been working for the brand Sakodia Success Music and everything relating to Sakodia to have kept a brand for this long is laudable. And for the young ones who are watching, who are looking up to you, uh, might want to learn something. I think the more you go forward, you get to see what is expected and then you find the people who are best at being able to execute it and bring them on board. So I've been able to find um, the right people at the right time. Um, it's a slow pace, um, it's, it's a trusted pace because that's when you build organically. But every stage is when I, I know I need somebody and this person can do this for me, I just bring them on board. So I think that and also having the love for music, I, th I think I don't get carried away with literally not being a, like a famous person or a star. That is not my focus. My focus was just for people to hear me and I make sure I don't lose that. And that's, and that's hard not to lose, but I try that I don't lose so that you can have that authentic way of writing music. And I think being yourself and the people will love you and also having grace from God as well. Your, your new song, uh, Landlord, uh, is I mean, massive. People are reading meaning to it already. Uh, are you, why, why do you say that you're the landlord? Um, I didn't say it, the people said it, so and I, I can see the angle why some uh, artists tell me to be that. Um, I think if you've done something for a very long time and you also paved the way for a lot of people, they feel like they want to give you that title. From the highest to everything, I didn't call myself that, I started from the fans and maybe my colleagues and then 
Uh, sometimes you put a stamp on it and go like, you know, just move from a landlord. Yeah, me, me, me and Somosa, that's basically what it is, yeah. For the fans who have been with you for Stark Nation, thank you so much. I really do appreciate the support. Um, this year, let's go harder. This year, actually, I want to involve a lot of the Sack Nation so we can make money together. You know, I want us to have activations where Sack Nation are making money. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put out uh, what we're going to do together because I think Sack Nation is a whole institution. It has a president, it has, uh, they have meetings, they have secretaries and everything. So I'm trying to like make sure that we position them in a way that they can make money from this brand that we built together. So thank you so much, Sack Nation. I really do appreciate it. Wow. Very interesting interview there. Yeah. Very yeah. succinct, but a lot in there to talk about. Yeah. Uh, and I know it's, it's difficult to get Sack here. So yeah. how, how, how were you able to grab him? Because that was after performance, right? Yeah, it was, it was after, after uh, the Black Star Line performance. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was a fantastic performance, I, I should say. Uh, we waited for a few minutes, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, he had to just cool down. And then we went in. Angel uh, spoke to him and we went in. And, and then he said there? something. He said something. Oh. I think you should, you should tell the, oh. the viewers. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you were waiting for so 20 I, minutes. So I, think that, so I think that they went in to tell. So we went there. Um, the first time he came in, uh, we went, they, they went, him, went in to tell him that we were there. They said, join you, he's here to interview you. Then after the performance, he said, Joy Prime is here to interview you. It's like, it took, took a bit of time. Yeah. But then, I don't know, maybe he asked who was the one doing the interview. So they allowed us in. And when I got in there, he had to, I thought he was actually, you know, kidding. I said he was lying about it. He, he was just trying to make me feel good about whatever it is. But I think he meant it. No, so what he said, which he still not said, is that Quote, if it's Becky, I will do this. So, yeah. I mean, Becky gets all the big interviews. That's Aww. why you shouldn't miss John Prime. Aww. And, Are we um, going to do the karaoke? Yeah, yeah, because he mentioned too. that the, the video for Countryside will be out. Yes. And we all cannot wait for that one. So, yeah. so Ennis um, is about singing the song for us. So if, I? Greta, if you have the song. Ennis no, we are doing ahead. this together. Go ahead. Because I don't know the song, so.